Hi, this is MC again from SLE Canada. So SLE stands for Study, Live, Explore Canada. So SLE is a group of international students here in Canada and they were trying to help future students on how to get their permit or um, how they prepare for their arrival or, and just a random, we're just giving random facts about Canada. So this will be of course based on our experiences and we're just sharing it to them that will help them through their process. So today, I'm gonna talk about cost of living, specifically in Nova Scotia, Toronto, and Vancouver Island. So let's get started. So the first one that I'm gonna talk about is housing. So when I was in Nova Scotia, we paid around 870 for our apartment. It's a um, three bedroom house. And then in Ontario, we were paying around fifteen fifty, so one thousand five hundred fifty, including our utilities for one bedroom basement apartment. It's a basement, guys, <laughs> so it's kind of expensive, right? So Vancouver Island, we're paying right now around one thousand one hundred fifty for a one bedroom apartment. So that's it for our housing and then now I'm going to talk about the utilities. So in Nova Scotia, we were paying around 300 per month. That's the average one because it, it depends. If it's winter, then you have to pay more. If it's summer, then you pay less. So now I'm telling you the average um, um, utilities that, that we were paying before in Nova Scotia, 300 per month. So in Ontario, I can't tell you because my uh, our utilities were included in our rent, but I think it's gonna be pretty similar with Nova Scotia because the, the weather in Ontario is, yeah, it's the same in Nova Scotia, they get like negative 10 or something. I'm not pretty sure with that, because I've never been to Ontario when it was like winter. I'm all like when we were there, it was summer. So I can't tell you anything about the utilities in Ontario. So Vancouver Island, right now we're paying 50 bucks per month, just 50 bucks, and sometimes 30 bucks. So because here on the island, it's not snowing. We don't get snow here and like we're not kind of person that turns on the heater we're like trying to save energy as much as possible we don't turn on the heater if we don't have to okay that's it for utilities the next one that we're gonna talk about is phone so phone is completely i think it's the same across the country so when i arrived here i was paying around 45 dollars per month just Canada wide so you can call anywhere in Canada you also have the option to just opt out for Canada wide but for me it's very important to call uh, someone from um, Ontario or someone from BC because I have like some friends there <laughs> so I was paying $45 per month and then um, Felix, my partner, told me that he was paying around 30 so I tried to shop around and I got $35 per month with uh, Canada wide and one gig. The, um, telecommunication here in Canada is kind of expensive because they're huge, the country is really big and if I'm gonna compare it with um, Dubai, Dubai is kind of cheap when it comes to their telecommunication but you would understand because Ken is freaking huge right so that's it for my phone to so expect you you're gonna pay 35 or I know someone just paying around 10 bucks so you have to shop around when it comes to your uh, your phone provider okay so next one will be your food so for me I was only uh, spending 200 bucks per month but I'm more on you no know, veggies we don't eat meat a lot so that's why we're only spending 200 in Nova Scotia in Ontario we were also spending 200 per month 
in Ontario and when we moved here on the island we were spending we are still spending 300 bucks per month the reason being that because it's an island so food is not accessible so they they have to transport it right from from the mainland so you would understand why it's quite expensive here but I eat more veggies so I don't think 300 bucks per month is a lot I think that's still pretty decent <laughs> so that's it for our food the next one that I'm gonna talk about is in car insurance so for the car insurance it really depends like it varies depending on your so many factors like say your age if you're a female what type of car you have if you got full license if you got like uh, lower than two uh two years of driving experience so it really depends so now i'm just gonna give you my car insurance rate so when i was in nova scotia i was paying around 70 bucks per month i got a full license i don't have any uh, driving experience here in Canada but I'm still paying 70 bucks I took a defensive driving so if you took a defensive driving in Nova Scotia defensive driving course you're uh, gonna save a lot of money but then taking a course will, will cost you some money too so yeah I just have to double check that so the next one will be Ontario I talked to someone I never changed my license when I was in Ontario because we only stayed there for three months but I know that I'm gonna pay 200 to 300 bucks because I only have like few like one year of driving experience here in Canada so I don't think I'm gonna save a lot and I don't think they're gonna they're gonna consider my defensive uh, driving course because that was only in Nova Scotia and then when I moved to Vancouver Island so the the, the insurance rate that Felix is paying, uh, paying right now I'm talking about Felix because I, didn't, I haven't changed my car insurance yet so um, Felix is paying around $95 per month so Felix has um, 8 years driving experience so they consider your driving experience back home so if you have a license in the Philippines or if you have a license in Dubai and make sure that you have your driving abstract with you so you can show it to them so you will save a lot of money if you remember in my last video I mentioned that you if you, once you're here in Canada make sure that you process your driving license because this is the reason you want to save a lot of money with your car insurance so because different province they have different rules like for us we always move so it's just horrible but not horrible that we're moving but it's just horrible that they have different rules here it's just a lot of um, red, red tape it's the process is just redundant they get more money with that I guess so that's it for my car insurance when it comes to your gas too the only difference I think Nova Scotia and Ontario is pretty similar but when you move here on the island the gas is quite expensive so it's just like food right you have to transport it and yada 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 yeah, so that's why more uh, people here on the island are buying electric cars because of that reason gas is expensive here I think that's it that's it for my expenses so if I'm getting calculated the total expenses for my uh, when I was in Nova Scotia my total expenses was $745 per month in Ontario when I was in Ontario for three months we spent I spent $1,055 per month that's Ontario and then when we moved here on the island I am now spending $955 per month so see you can see the difference right Nova Scotia is cheaper uh, Ontario is expensive specifically on Toronto Vancouver Island is in the middle but then 
you also have to double check how much you're making in Nova Scotia you're not gonna make a lot in Ontario you're gonna make some money yes that's true on the island you're gonna make some money too so you just have to calculate every single thing how much is my cost of living how much how much money I'm gonna make in this province so the lesson here is calculate how much money you're gonna make calculate your cost of living and at the bottom calculate how much you're gonna save that's the thing how much you're gonna save and I think that's it for today I hope I gave you some great ideas and some you know some information about cost of living here if you have any questions just uh, drop an email or comment it here on this channel on this video and I'll be I will try to answer it as much as I can and Also, I'm having a mentorship program if you're interested just um, sign up and register and We'll try to help you on how to you know process your application um, give you some information when you arrive and again that will be based on our experience we're just telling you we're just gonna tell you our journey and we just want you to learn from it so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next week bye